Next Generation Tactical Systems. Stay tuned. What's up, you guys? My name is Hussein. Welcome back to the IPO Nerd, the best place to learn about new companies going public and how to invest in them. America's number one IPO news channel. So today, we're going to be looking at a Canadian company, guys, called K-West Microsystems, right? This company specializes in non-lethal weapons. They also specialize in digitalization and counter-threat equipment for the field so you guys can keep your soldiers safe and your uh, security forces, right? So very exciting. They are due to IPO sometime this week, guys. We don't have a specific date. We just know that it's going to be the week of the 14th, which is this week, right? So make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. But before we begin, let's check out our stock market trending news for the week. All right, guys, this week, Amazon reportedly plans to lay off about 10,000 employees starting this week, according to CNBC. We already know that a lot of other companies have followed suit, right? Facebook is laying off a lot, whole bunch of people, Twitter and all that. What happened is, guys, that during the pandemic, uh, these companies over employed people and now they are having to do layoffs also fdx ceo lost billions and the company filed for bankruptcy it could signal the demise of crypto according to experts right this week guys we know what happened to ftx all this uh finance youtubers have been promoting this company and uh, now it went bankrupt a lot of people were left holding the bag i do not invest in crypto guys but i think the biggest crime was that here and that was your stock market trending news for the week Today, we're looking at K-West Microsystems, which develops and commercializes proprietary next-generation technologies that deliver a tactical advantage for military, security forces, and personal defense, according to their website. Here's your IPO details. All right, guys, so the company was founded in 2017 just a few years old. They have 18 employees. They're looking to raise $11.5 million during this IPO. Their share price is gonna be anywhere from 471 to 521 cents per share. IPO week is gonna be this week, the 1114 guys. And the ticket symbol is gonna be KWE. I'll leave this up on the screen so you guys can take a screenshot. That was your IPO details. Are you an IPO nerd? Join my Patreon for extra perks and shout outs. Also learn how to create and promote your own brand with my marketing masterclass available now. Link in the description. All right, guys, let's check out the website to learn more about the company. Just so you guys know, this is going to be an uplifting from the OTC, all right? They're already uh, trading on the OTC, but this is going to be an uplift, all right? If you don't know what that means, just Google it. But basically, they are trading, but not just publicly, not on the NASDAQ, okay? So they're going to be trading on the NASDAQ. They're going to be offering, I think, about 3.1 million shares or something like that. So this is just an uplifting from the uh OTC. Also, when you look at the numbers, which we are going to do over here on the F1, like I said, because it's a Canadian company, right? They file an F1. Uh, all the numbers are going to be in Canadian dollars, and I'm going to be sure that you know that you guys are aware of that, and also put it on the presentation. But anyway, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let's check out their website to learn a little bit more about the company right here. You can see that they specialize on next generation tactical systems, right? So what does that mean? You click on about, and right here they're talking about non-lethal weapons, right? Like para-ops and Arwen, non-lethal products for personal defense, public safety, and realistic training. Uh, I know I did 20 years in the military, guys, so we use a lot of sim rounds and everything and stuff like that when we were, you know, training. Also, digitalization of the battlefield. When I came out in 2015, when I retired uh, from the military after 20 years, right? I, uh, they were just starting beginning to use drones and all that stuff for recon. And right now, this company is using real-time network situational awareness and targeting for ground forces, including ATAC integration. So they have some very high-speed stuff. Uh, there's a video we're going to check out right here. 
it's only two minutes, guys. So, and I got to give you a warning. It's, it's kind of loud and intense. So make sure you turn down your headphones, turn, turn down the volume or whatever. Let's check out this video to see all these uh, gadgets in action. <laughs> All right, that's a pretty cool video, guys. As you can see, they have some pretty cool laser technology out there, even some electromagnetic pulse uh, system right there, like a little box that just like, I guess it sends out, you know, electromagnetic pulse and it feeds it to your little screen by your, you know, that you are carrying on your vest. So you can see the battlefield, but right here, you can see a little bit more about the products, laser detection, uh, phantom electronic decoy and all that good stuff, the personal warm version right here and all that good stuff. And there's more videos and everything. So if you want to learn more, I'm not going to go through every specification of all their equipment and stuff like that, but it seems some pretty cool Call of Duty kind of stuff over here, guys, you know, where you have your own personal, you know, radar and you drop it, you know, and it kind of like, it has electromagnetic pulse and it shows you where the enemy is at and stuff like that. It's not going to show you little red dots or no, no map or anything like that uh, on your little screen. It might, I don't know. It looks pretty cool. Like I said, it's just battlefield laser detection systems and some other uh, cool stuff right here for you to check out. They do have a YouTube channel if you want to go over there and follow them and learn more about the company, right? But overall, I think the equipment is pretty cool. Uh, the little bit that they do have. And like I said, it seems like a very good company. I'm very interested in, you know, military types of company. If you haven't seen my Leonardo DS, right? We've been waiting for that one forever. They were supposed to IPO. I think it was last year. And I did a video all about them and everything. And I was very excited because this is a contractor that creates, you know, equipment for us, military and all that. And for some reason, they backed out of the deal, something like that. There was not enough interest on Leonardo DS, which is a great company, you know, that works with the military. Uh, hopefully this doesn't happen to this one as well, K-West. I'm doing my best part, you know, out there, guys, to pass along the information. Of course, I'm not telling you to invest in this company at all. I'm not saying, you know, I'm only, I can only tell you what I'm doing, right? I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't tell you to invest in this company for sure. But I do like it. Uh, but you know me, I'm all about the numbers, though. So let's check out the numbers from the S1 in the little segment I like to call by the numbers. All right, guys, so the company market cap is 50 million Canadian dollars. All these numbers are gonna be in Canadian dollars, guys. Uh, the total assets, $6.5 million. Total liabilities, we're looking at $5.5 million. A lot more assets and liabilities, you know, I like to see that. Their revenue for the last six months, $282,000. $2.6 million in net loss, however, guys, I do not like that. They are losing money, they need this IPO real bad, right? And cash and cash equivalents, we're looking at $189,000 for the last six months. So, guys, as you can see, the company's not profitable. A good reason to go public, right? And that was by the numbers.
All right, guys, what do I think about KOS Microsystems? Uh, I like the company. I like all the products, and I like what they are doing. And even though they are having a net loss of $2.6 million for this last uh, six months, right, according to the F1, I like this company because it's all about technology, and it's all about, well, first of all, it's about protecting our forces, right? And, uh, you know, and not just military, but they do things for, you know, like security forces and all that. Um also, I like that they're pushing the technology forward with laser technology and e uh, electromagnetic pulse and all that good stuff. So I'm going to make an exception on this time, just this time, guys, because I'm excited about it. And I'm going to have to give this one a big thumbs up, guys. I'm going to be investing in it, you know, grab me a couple of shares or whatever. Nothing crazy, right? But I am looking forward to it, guys, because you know, like I said, I was military and I love anything that has to do with military. But guys... That's just my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not investing in financial advice. So make sure you do your own research and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, guys, if you like this video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. But more important than that, make sure you guys take care of yourselves. And I'll see you soon. I bring up the pain, Rick and the mind. I make the market rain like acid rain. I invest, invest in channel you ever known, y'all. I take your girl, your house, your money, and leave you broke, son.